Hello, today we're going to look at how to install the boost libraries for C++ and these have a lot of miscellaneous utilities. So uh, if we go to the download page here, it'll show you um, downloads for different versions. So I'm here in the directory where I want to install it and I wrote a script here but I'll go through these commands uh, one by one so that we can see it happen. So the first thing to do is to download the tar file. And then after that we unzip it. And this is pretty big because the boost libraries are a very large library. And there are a lot of uh, text files in there for um, all the header only components. Um, so now if we navigate inside here, we have all of the um, materials. So if we read the README, um, doesn't give many, much instructions. But then if we read the install directions, it says to uh, go to index.html. So I'm going to open a different tab so we can look at the index.html which has some nice documentation here so uh, has getting started and then if we go here it has getting started on Unix variants and within here it tells you to um, uh, so most of it is header only but there are some compiled versions uh, some compiled libraries within this so if we just look in uh, the boost folder, um, there are a lot of header files there. So you could just copy this boost folder and include it in your project and be fine for most things. But let's just build everything to be thorough. So if we go to um, here, preparing to use a boost library, it says, uh, so we're, in, we're inside here, and so we can run this bootstrap uh, script that they have with a uh, prefix for where we want the install dir directory to be. And for me, I'm going to put that on this path on my system. And I missed an equal sign here. So that will run for a little bit. And then it says uh, to build run B2 and to generate header files, say, you know, only headers, but let's build everything. And this is the part that's going to take the longest. Okay, so it's done and it's saying that the include directory should be the current directory, uh, which has everything in that boost subdirectory. And then the libraries are in this subdirectory. So we can see all of the, uh, all of the library files that it built, but this isn't exactly where I wanted to install it. And I think that's maybe because I didn't first create the directory that I wanted to install it in. So if I rerun this, I'm hoping that it will um, not have to rebuild everything. Okay, that it didn't take as long as the first time when I reran it, but I'm hoping that now I have a proper install directory here. Okay, so create the installation directory that you give to uh, bootstrap dash dash prefix uh, before you run b2 install. And then now we have our include and that has all the headers under there, boost and then whatever you, you want like 
polygon, and then the lib folder should have, great, everything we would want to link if we want to use some of these. And it mentions that you can selectively, uh, selectively build only some of the libraries or none of them, but I wanted to be thorough. So, um, so then to show that this works, um, here it has an example program. So let's, uh, uh oh, let's try this. So make an example folder. And we'll just copy paste that example in here. Oh, sorry, I meant to put this in main.cpp. So it looks like what we're doing, we're importing uh, boost lambda and let's see. So it looks like this particular library uh, takes a lambda function, which is this, apparently. I'm just reading from the documentation here. And it should loop through and maybe multiply by three and print something out. So let's uh, compile it the way that it's telling us to, which is um, here. So just uh, compile it and give it dash i to the include folder. Terminal. So we can do g++ and then nine point zero include, I think is where we are. Okay. So it was able to find that header to compile it. And now, great. So if I enter a number that goes into CN and then that Lambda function is executed and prints out three times that number. And I guess it stops when I just control C it. So that is how to get started with Boost.